So welcome back to the next interview question. Uh, so in this what we'll do is let's create a class and we'll name this class as A. So we have a class here called as A. Now what happens if I create the object of this class which is A new A and if I try to print this. So what will be the output? Okay, This is one of the interview question. So if I have a class which is empty or it doesn't matter if it is empty or not there are lots of variables or methods. If I create the object and if I try to print the object, okay, the OBJ, what will be the output? And now if I run this code, oh, so you take your two take take two seconds and you know try to guess the answer. You can just pause the video, think about it, and come back. So once you have uh, answer in your mind, let's run this code. And here we go. That's your answer. Now this is not the answer you can you you have to give to your interviewer, right? So if interviewer asks you what was the answer of this code and if you say uh, blah a and something 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 so he will say okay you got uh, something 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 not selected and that's the problem right so you have to explain this in a proper way why you are getting this type of output so to demonstrate this what I will do is uh, we'll talk about this class a by default all the classes in Java they extend a class called as object so it doesn't matter if you write this extends here or not, by default every class in Java extends object class. Now if you try to try to use this, if you try to print this obj, what happens is by default this obj will call a method called as toString. Even if you don't write toString here, it will call the method toString. Okay. Then the question arises: obj is the object of A. And in class A, we don't have any method called a toString. And that's the magic. Since we don't have toString in your class, it will go to this parent class which is object. And when you go to object class here, so you can see in object class, we have a method called as toString. So let me search toString here. Okay. So there's a class called as, there's a method called as toString. Okay. So whenever you print the object, it will call to string method which is this method here and what is printing it's printing the class name okay so we are setting get uh, get class dot get name it was it is the class name then it is added it so you can see the output it is your class name which is here a dot interview is a package interview is a package dot a it's your class name added it and then it is also printing a hash code so this hash code it's basically a number for every object okay so in your heap memory there will be lots of objects and those objects will be in a container so there will be lots of containers and each container will, will have different different objects or maybe multiple objects can belong to the same container so in this scenario you'll be getting the hash code which is a unique number and that hash code will be in a binary format so you have to convert that binary format into hexadecimal format Okay, so we can do that with the help of two hex string. Okay, so you can see this is a hexadecimal format of the binary string. Okay, so this this should be your answer. So if interviewer asks you what will be the output, you have to say it will print the class name, a qualified class name with, with which means package name and class name at the rate hash code. Cool. So that's it from this video. So in the next video, we'll talk about how to override two string method. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.